Listen. Because it would have sucked if we were still on mute when that had happened, wouldn't it? It would have been really bad. That would have been bad. That wouldn't have been good. Could you imagine? Hi. Hello, everybody. You're like, what are you doing here? You're on vacation. That I am. Because this is not about Drag Race. And this is certainly not a live review. But it's more so a hello. How are you? I missed y'all already. Trust and believe. But it is the day before the vacation. I fly out tomorrow. And I want to go live and I want to talk to y'all today. And we're going to have a nice conversation, ain't we? Bleaker is in town. Bleaker, say hi. Hi, I'm here to watch the children. Yes, Bleaker will be watching the babies. They're currently oh God, over so here cute. right now. Yes, she's in her full position all this uh, together. And Bleaker has been helping me be a little less stressed with getting ready for this trip. Um, cause I've been very stressed about it. I've been very tired. Uh, as a matter of fact, Bleaker can attest to this that other day, because like it was one of the first days I didn't have to work or do anything YouTube related. I literally, cra we crashed. Like I both crashed. of us, I was so tired. I was just like, oh my God, I haven't been able, I haven't had to do anything today. So this is fucking madness. But we also saw a movie that we're going to talk about because we do the, our movie podcast and we can actually do this today. We saw, what was it? Uh, what was the movie again? It was called, um, what was it called? What was it called again? Bleaker, what was the movie called? Late Night with the Devil. Late, something, late something Night like with shit. the Devil. There you go. World's Greatest Farter. Wow. I can't. I'm not sure. World's Greatest Farter. <laughs> I got a story time to tell you because I went and got a manicure today. However. <laughs> Big However. Why should I have that? Wait. Oh my goodness. Wait, what was that? Okay. This, that one. Well, I mean, it's it's art. No, I can't do this today. Listen, um, if you want to uh, do me a big favor, hit the thumbs up button, get in the comment section. This again, it's going to be just a little light live today. Nothing too crazy. Nothing that was planned out and all that kind of stuff. Don't worry about it. Bleaker has, you've seen, um, I mean, you've listen to the Cowboy Carter album. So if you want to get thoughts on that today, we can do that too. Uh, we're going to talk about that movie. I I'm going to recommend it, but I wasn't prepared for how that went down. Hey, Auntie Joyce. And then I got to talk about the things that happened while Bleaker has been here so far. But yes, Bleaker will be watching the babies. I'll be flying out tomorrow. They're dropping me off. Um, and yeah, tonight I'm just going to get the bags. Well, bag together because I have one suitcase. And um Make sure all it's all, hey, and there's Baked by Bunny. Baked by Bunny also was with us this evening, afternoon, mm -hmm. afternoon, evening. Uh, again, when you're in Houston and you have my phone number, you can come to certain occasions and persuasions. I'm just realizing that my necklace is in a knot, which we're going to pretend like that was supposed to be. You couldn't tell, but I can. You can tell us a surprise live because I'm like, oh, I should cover my tattoo. Oh, my, my necklace. <laughs> and I have, I didn't, this is very like, I just wanted to talk. It's been like, a couple of days and it feel weird not talking to y'all, but I also have been very much in my rest mode and just getting myself ready for this trip. We have a full itinerary and schedule ahead of us. We even have a restaurant that we're going to for my friend's birthday that I was like, oh baby, you want us to spend a little coin girl, like, like help brothers, help. Uh, but yeah, if you want to throw me anything prior to this trip, trust me. Unless y'all want him eating salads the whole time, but we know he's been on this diet, so he needs to eat. More luxurious. Do you foods. see what I'm talking about? It's already chipped. No, I'm bleeding oh. still from that. Yes. Do you see what I'm talking about? Oh, I have to tell you about this manicure from hell. Like that they overcharged me for and everything. And the pedicure they gave me. I spent $60 to be massacred in a chair. I kid you not. 
Like, I kid you not. It's not a lie. Like, I literally was bleeding in, like, what, this finger is a little bit, what, this one was bleeding, this one's now bleeding, the uh, other Took one Took an bleeding. hour and a half oh, yeah. time. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And I have to talk about that. But, like, trust and believe. I'm, I'm, I, I, you know, the girls are always dragging me. But if y'all could throw me any kind of coin top, tops my way, it would be much, much appreciated because, like, this trip is coming up. I'm extremely stressed out about that part. And on top of it, like, just a lot going on here today. Mind you, um, it's, it's, it's a lot going on in the background. But let me talk about the Manny Petty situation first. I just I like to get a manicure and a pedicure if I'm traveling. You see what I was saying about that when I have to tape it up? Exactly. It's only in that corner because it doesn't have the crown molding and it's in the kitchen. So you have to like... I'll, I'll get it rigged up so you don't have to worry about that falling and making you like, what the fuck is going on? The lights are coming down. <laughs> Everything already. comes down when I start exactly. panicking. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So like for what happened was I want to get a mani-pedi. I normally go get one done. I'm used to spending $40 on it, but I was like, okay, I'm in a different area than I'm used to going. My normal shop is like 20 miles away. So it's like, nah, I'm not going to go there. And I go to a different shop that's close by. I'm familiar with seeing the shop. Go in there. No one speaks to me for like two minutes. And then all of a sudden, can I help you? And I'm like, I'm trying to get a manicure pedicure. Did you sign in? There's an iPad that's not on. I, I didn't realize it was, I thought it was dead. I'm like, it's not on. I'm like, what's going on? Why are you have this motherfucker? Oh, bitch, what's going on? I hit the button or do the little, you know, tag or whatever. And like, it's like, okay, just put it on your work, whatever. Did that. They sit me down. And this lady comes and she didn't say a word to me. Just She's just pointing. I'm like, okay. I get in there. I got my toes, you know. I thought you were gonna give them feet for free. Oh no, I'm not gonna do feet for free. Listen, and <laughs> listen, I, I wait. I still need a tipping pool if I'm gonna do feet. You now. kicked those shoes off, and I was like, now wait. A I'm minute. trying to get in the physical orientation of the body language, what was happening. And when I got my feet in the water, they turned the water on as my feet were in there. So it was cold water at first, and I was like, okay, I like to take that out. But she didn't know what to do, so she kept putting them back in. I said, okay. We get the water up. She almost forgets about it. It's about to spill over. I'm like, okay, this is going to be this kind of day, right? We're supposed to be going to a movie and everything. I was trying to plan this accordingly. It didn't work out. The lady then takes my feet. She pulls out a little cuticle thing, starts tapping my toes. So what is happening? That's exactly how to use that. You're right. But, but. What's happening? Because I don't see not one piece of skin flying into a formation of your fucking toes look good now. So then she takes out the file. So, okay. We then get to, hold on, Matt, where are we at? Oh, the grater, which they didn't need to use. <laughs> That man said my feet were soft. He was like, you have to have like some sort of whatever the other thing was. But the not humble a, foot bread. Yeah, like but monster. not the cheese grater. And she brought it out and she didn't know what to do with it. And I was like, oh my gosh, she's about to slice my feet up. Like, this is crazy. And instead pretended she was doing it in... All right. 10 minutes in, this is what's happening. Now she goes to my legs. We, we left the feet alone. Oh, excuse me. She went to go cut my nails with the clipper, caught my skin. And I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> I said, like, please, wait a minute. Wait a minute, you, you were about to cut me up. She was like, oh. And then she used to stop cutting them and she was pretending to cut them. Then she went and got the stuff for the legs. You know how they do the leg rub and everything? She just did that for 15 minutes. It just rubbed my legs for 15 minutes. And also, mind you, it's exfoliant. So she wasn't putting water on it. Just ripping just, at your just leg hair. rubbing it, rubbing it. I have a little, little scratch right here from her today. I'm just like, yo, this is crazy. Then the man finally, because the guy who owns the place was like, okay, I'm going to come out in here. He does my, he fixes all of my toenails the best he can. They do not paint them or polish them. He just goes over the work that she fucked up and then he tries to make up for it. And that was it. Then we go to the manicure. As you can see, while it's nice, she was going in on my hands. They were trying to get me out. I was there for an hour and 15 minutes when there were two women that came in before and after me that left before me. They kept on leaving me alone and doing all that kind of shit. At the end of it all, 
when I go up there to pay, I'm thinking 40 bucks. These people say $60. And I'm like, I just was massacred. Charged and you for that gel polish you didn't even get on your toes. Because it was supposed to be 30 with the gel polish and they didn't do that. So low key was literally maybe $15 like, of work on the feet. Like if anything. They didn't even like clean out anything under your nails or nothing. No, no. I'm it, just realizing. Yes. That. Do you see? That's why I was over here like. Wow, you just literally filed me down into this, that, and the other, right? So we're in a hurry, and that's why I can't sit here and argue with them about what they've done, especially with an argument that just happened. What, two arguments happened prior to that? One woman came in there talking about facial waxing and got an attitude with the woman who started speaking a different language and says, this bitch talking about me. I was like, oh, my God. Then the coworkers got into it because Miss Mama was like, why are you just sitting here? I'm assuming because she was just sitting there staring at us while she was doing my nails. If you would like to throw something in my tip jar to make up for that experience today, please and thank you. Because I have been really upset all, all, all fucking day. day no, it. like since the second you left that salon. Like hey. the first 20 minutes we were together today, you didn't even say anything. I didn't. I was I, I, I was ready. To it took you a minute to cool down before you retold that story. <laughs> when you go and get your, your fingers nails have been done. bleeding off and on all day. Yes. Yes, I'm I'm about to go. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna like bleep and talk to y'all for a second while I go get an alcohol swab. But like when you go get your nails done, it is a experience that's supposed to be relaxing and you're supposed to enjoy yourself and want to come back to the salon and it's supposed to almost like be a pampering situation. And instead I was assaulted. Not assaulted. This isn't a paper cut. I wasn't digging in my booty. I wasn't doing any of those things. No, I let someone tip. Yeah, if anybody's in Houston, you should warn them with that Jesus name. Name Christ. that salon. Uh, name her. Name her. Who's that Pokemon? Da da da. Golden Nail Salon. Da, da, da. <laughs> I'm telling you, like. Thank you, Kyle. I appreciate the tip and pool. I appreciate you for that. That chips away at that Porsche. Because, bitch, when I tell you, I was like $60. I I need to spend that at a restaurant in Miami. Do you feel me, Bleaker? Like, I, that's supposed to be the money I'm supposed to spend at the restaurant. And you don't kill me. No, people. and the reference, I, I'm going to say the alcohol. same thing that I told him. Okay, these this is a full set. Not a fill, a full set with chrome and Ray's detailing, I paid $150 for that. He paid almost half of that for a chop job that had no color, no oh nail, gosh. no nothing. Like mad. $60 for a Manny Petty. Where's the combo price Ooh, on that? I, I, didn't show that? I don't think I've ever been to a nail salon. That, did, that was also a low key way for me to be like, look at my nails though. Look at my nails though. Um, <laughs> Speaking of things that I got that I didn't show y'all. Oh, yeah. Look at it. It came in the mail. It came in the mail. It came in the mail. And it's going to fit. I, I'm not going to And then the back shirt. with the act two. And... It's mm. very cute. I like this better mm. than the other shirt that she had for Renaissance Black. I'm not going to lie. No, it's good. them bitches sitting over there, like, looking at me crazy. Um. That was my day in terms of all of that. So shout out to Kyle. I appreciate that. If y'all want to throw a little extra, honey, because again, I said, the next time I come back over there, they're going to hear from me. Because like- Don't go back. I really feel like I need to say something to them folks because I was so fucking mad. Like, like I get that. Y'all were not prepared for me to come in today, but but no then don't excuse. have a sign that says walk in. Exactly, it was very. So you had two people that didn't come into work today, and there's only two of y'all that actually know what you're doing. So you put somebody on me as I'm literally putting alcohol on my finger right now, who doesn't know what they're doing, to then fuck my shit up because you see what am I going to do? What am I going to say? And then something? we were in a hurry, so you couldn't even stay and argue exactly. or, or break down the pricing. Exactly, nothing. and I wanted to sit there and do all that, but nope. Couldn't do that. Let's see, I was right here, right here. And no, I'm not even going to start on my feet. That shit really ooh, irked my soul. 
Um, oh, you're going to have to get your clear polish out in uh, Miami. I know. Yeah, probably. When and even Walgreens then, I probably, or something. I probably won't even care at that point or whatever. I, more than likely. You'll, no. just, you'll more care about the money spent. No, how small. I don't need nails. I just had a manicurist and a pedicurist fuck my nails up and, and very much, uh, you know, cause a disturbance of functioning with my arteries and stuff. I'll just go with you and I'll just be like, this is it. This is Cause I'm like, oh my God. But yeah. But yes, um, trip is coming up. I'm excited. I'm still a bit nervous cause your boy's counting pennies and I've been doing that like for the past 60 days. So I just don't know how not to. Yeah, I had to get like, everything travelable because I didn't want to get there and then buy stuff because I don't know if it's going to be more expensive in Florida. But I, I also... tiny things. For it's the, so for, little. For the plane and for the bedroom because I don't know those people's sheets and if we need to make sure we do whatever we got to do, we got to do whatever. I bought the Febreze yesterday. And yeah, I don't play that shit. Like, because people are nasty. They tell you they've cleaned the home. They don't. A mini deodorant because this will be used all the way through. I know I'm a man. Toothpaste, exfoliant for the nighttime because that's after the beach and after we've been outside all day sweating. Daytime skin wash because like you don't exfoliate in the morning. Do that after a grimy day, not in the beginning. You're not trying to take your skin cells away. What's happening here? Shaving cream because, man, um, because if the Lysol not going to do it, these wipes are going to do it. You seen that lady that cleans her hotel rooms when she goes? I love her. I'm her. I'm, I I'm love with her. it. This is also for the flight because um, they you give you a little down. towel. They give you a towelette. That that towelette's water. Get you one of these. Everything from the front to the side to the roots to the tuta. I wipe it all down. I don't play that shit because I've been on a flight a and got sick. I do. Good. Um, Y'all are sharing air on a lotion, plane. Lotion, mouthwash, hand sanitizer. Lint brush, I have black clothes. <laughs> 70 proof sunscreen. You don't need to buy more than that. But so you don't have to go on the I first have, day. No, I have another one in the uh, bathroom, but that's going to be in the big suitcase. Yeah, this one's going to be in the, well, if I just need to apply some real quick because I don't know what the fuck's going on right now. Gee. Also that makes low, sense. Low key, also just a random purchase in case I need to take this later in life. Because like, why not have a small thing of sunscreen if you're like, you oh, should I don't know though. Where I'm at. Like, they have lotions that have sunscreen in them now too, but mm -hmm. I don't know how well those work. I would get a tan lotion one, but I don't need it because I will naturally just tan yeah. with the seventy. So, and I'm also not trying to look like. Shut the. I know that that look conveys so many things, but I know exactly who you mean. <laughs> there can only be one. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> so we're good on this. I don't need anything like that. I am prepared clothes wise. I have the toiletries and all that kind of stuff. Now it's just a matter of me and my mental thinking of, okay, money to do. <laughs> Cause I, I told myself, Maddie, you're not going to go out here. You're not going to act a fool with your coin. You're going to go out here and just have a good time. And that's going to be that. And because both of y'all on this booty smelling stuff, are we brothers and sisters or we love us? Um, I, yeah, where am I at with this? Uh, you should read You should read them parts of your itinerary. Not the places, but just the list of the things that is on the itinerary. No, it's actually like, it's very detailed to a point detailed. where it's like, okay, we have things we're going to do. And so for me... I'm like, maybe one of these days I'm just not going to do nothing because I don't want to spend no fucking money like that. Because baby, it's, so it's Miami. Much. Miami is not it's cheap. Crazy. And you're going to be taking Ubers and pay, like, all well, we, that. We did get a rental car. We, oh, you did? We Good. did get a rental car. A van, too, which I'm like, thank God. He wasn't going to do that. And I was like, mm, you're going to want to rent it now. Rent yeah. Well, I didn't want to rent it. But they rented it, and I put my money into the rented car. So I got it, but it's not in my name, but it's rented because I also was... So what we're gonna do, AC, thank you for the tippy poo. Enjoy your vacation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So very much in the $60 jar, we have $20 in. So I appreciate all of y'all. 
because uh, Loki, I would love to pay back for this manicure because I want it. Ooh. See, somebody said you need a car. We got a car. Mm -hmm. We got a car. I if I need an Uber home though, I I definitely want to be able to do it without it being like, girl, you about to have to pay a whole lot of money coming into this kind of place. Or I just might have to bite the bullet and be like, fuck it, whatever. I'm just gonna be out here and figure it out. Who fine around here? Yeah. But yeah. So we're checking in the Airbnb first, of course. We're gonna also run the grocery store. This is the Activia run because my body bottom. Um, then we're gonna settle in and we're gonna do like an evening drinks, dinner, lounging by the pool sort of bit, whatever, get our little, you know, uh, you know, just relax and get to know some of each other. Most of us know each other, some of us don't. So it'll be sort of that sort of spear. And then we're gonna go out clubbing that same night. I have I have gone to a club in Miami before, but like, I don't remember paying nothing to go in there and I don't remember getting nothing in there. So now I'm kind of nervous, but I also said, Matt, you get one drink if you go club. Una, and you have someone buy your second drink, baby. Okay, that's what you're gonna do. True. And then by the and third, they'll likely get you another one. I mean, if 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 you need one, exactly. So that's, if you're playing it right, you'll be home by the second. That's what we're gonna try. <laughs> that's what we're gonna try to do. And that's just the first night there, which is so fun. Bleaker, your nails look amazing. Thank you. Okay. Well, money well spent, unlike me. If you guys are ever in Austin, Texas, a cute nail salon on 7th, that's what this is. Okay. Uh, put her on. Uh, explore the city, sightsee after breakfast on Friday, and then we're going to have like a free period of time to do whatever we want to do. I'm more than likely going to be at this pool. I, I love the exclamation points. Pool party? Question, question, question. Because it's like, well, do y'all want to? That's why it's like, I kind of want to, but do y'all want to? And it's like, I kind of do too, but it depends on what you want to do as a pool party. Because if it's like, I want to bring some randos over. I always feel weird about that on like trips where I don't know people. I barely know you. You brought somebody over here. They may do some shit. We're not going to laugh about that with you. I'm going to look at you crazy because you have bad judgment. Yeah, see, this is the hangover period until 4 p.m. That's see, the hangover period in case you have one. But here's the thing, though. With Friday that I like with exploring the city and sightseeing and stuff, I can go to Little Cuba right there true and i can go with multiple people because i know some folks want to go and then from three to eight we're doing happy hour not going to tell y'all where uh i did look up the i looked up their prices for happy hour thirty dollars can get me far i was like all right that is doable 30 to 40 i'm i'm, I'm on that kind of budget i don't want to be spending no kind of big ass money unless we're going to somewhere nice for dinner which we are going to do for my friend's birthday Oh, we did move that day. We were going to do that Saturday. Oh, we changed this all up. Oh, my God. Oh, okay. Oh, did oh. we get rid of some things? No, it moved because that was Saturday and now it's Sunday. Oh, I feel so much better about that dinner being on a Sunday because that'll be the last thing that we do before we go home. And then you can hug and be oh, done. Oh, yeah. that was smart. Oh, see, okay, I have to tell my friend he did good with that because that Saturday. Because that was when, rearranged. Because, yeah. yeah, Sunday it was like we were going to just – do one, two things, be done. Nah, like, we don't have to do all that. Okay, cool. That works. I, I, I like that. Okay, I feel better about this. Today. Yeah, if you see him post anything, it's likely going to be the following day. Mm -hmm. Not the day of. So he's got some Don't days. post where you're at until after. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I won't be. Trust me. Um, we'll be clubbing again Friday. Saturday, breakfast. Two, we're probably going to do the... Oh, I want to do the pool party. Uh, <laughs> then we'll have a 4 to 8 p.m. where we got a yacht. Uh, as a group, we all put in on it. So we're going to do like a little yacht party. Apparently it comes with like food that is catered and like drinks and stuff. And a four hour boat ride out in Miami is going to be kind of hot with the sunset. So I'm down with that. I will bring a jacket because <laughs> I feel like it's going to get cold. Bring some like like That's joggers gonna... that you could pull on to just oh, to get, yeah. you know what? Because your legs are going to be freezing. That's because I have nothing but shorts. In That's there. what I'm saying. Um, then we're going to do free period nap time dinner. Uh, and then we're going to go clubbing again. And then Sunday, this is the this is the day. We're going to go to Palace Bar. And I have said that but only because it's a drag bar and y'all are very familiar with the location territory. There are two drag times. I won't tell you which one I'll be at. But if you're there in Miami, you see me, say hello. I'm all good for hugs and pictures. I'm not a weirdo like that on the internet. Just be... I'm going to be that person <laughs> and lay down a, a, a boundary law here. When you are coming up, don't just make an assumption. Introduce yourself. Say, hey, I watch your su such and such, et cetera. Don't just be like, oh, my God, Maddie, can I have a picture? He's a human being. That's, that's my... 
That's my little bulldog bark well, for I, a second. I appreciate that because I'm very <laughs> like, come I over know. here. You're very polite. You would do it either way. We'll have a whole conversation. But I'm going to say it. Yeah, I'm definitely not an ass because um, you've been asking. Be friendly, family. but don't assume you're automatically family because he doesn't know who you are when you're walking up to him either. Because if I end up on Reddit with that picture, kill, kill, die, <laughs> die. Okay, no, I'm kidding. Okay, so we're going we're gonna to go to the a drag brunch on Sunday, tip the dolls, have a good brunch. Then we're going to go to the beaches. I don't know which ones just yet. Maybe the nude one, maybe the not nude one. I'm not sure. And then we're going to have a birthday dinner for our good friend. Hey, birthday, Troy. Um, and it's going to be a nice restaurant. I looked at the prices. That was where I was like, okay, baby, I need to make sure I have a little like quid hot because um, the food looks good, but I also don't want to be sitting over here like, okay, bitch, y'all got us over here looking crazy and we've been spending money all weekend. Like that kind of situation, right? Pack free period. And then I come home. So everybody's, they're going to have another schedule on Monday. Monday I'll be coming into town early in the morning. I'm not going to tell you what time, but I'll be flying in very early. Then me and Bleaker will be spending Monday together because it's the start of my vacation. Okay. <laughs> I get to come back in town. We spend time together. Maybe go see another movie. Maybe do another Denny. Like, not Denny's, but like a dinner or like lunch or whatever, whatnot. And then you'll be hitting the road. Um, in the dead of night so no one's on the road. I like my only competition on the road to just be truckers. I'm going to try to see if we can catch this oh, moment. Geez. Everybody take your screenshots now. I caught the moment. Now that's money well spent, children. Okay. Baby. Now listen. Now I need to tell y'all something about these motherfuckers right here. Mama on the ground, Mina be up in the air. Okay. And that's how they operate. Mama take the low ground, Mina take the high. Hi, baby girl. Um, but she's so pretty with her long nose. With that long pink little. Pew. pew, pew, pew. Um, but yeah, Mina is definitely, um, you know, she's she's growing. She's definitely a lot bigger when I got her. But yeah, she big like a bobcat. Now, believe it or not, she is long. She's just long and tall. Yeah, she's going to get bigger, though, because Mamu definitely had a growth spurt at one time. And it still gags me. I'm like, I pick him up I'm like, damn, you're so fucking heavy. Um, he probably going to get even bigger a little bit. I can see that because he's not even two yet. Well, and his paws are still really big in proportion to his leg length. Mm -hmm. My little wheezy F baby. <laughs> he does it as, like, as if he's like whining. Mm -hmm. Now you see what I'm talking about with all those doctor visits when they're tripping and I'm like, um, he probably see, just doesn't want you touching me. Right. He just gets really excited and he likes to, you know, like, okay, chill the fuck out. So, Bleaker. Yes. This movie we saw, uh, Late Night with the Devil. It was, okay, wait, let's do the one thing first. This movie did use a few AI images, which we, let's not support that. So we're gonna have that one little itty bitty criticism on it. Yeah. Boo, shame on you, yeah. AI images are dumb. You could have paid an artist for that, especially with as many production companies that were in on this movie. Because at one point, we thought it was a joke. We thought it was like a gag. But these are real movie companies. Yeah, yeah. They're real movie. There's like nine different movie companies. Y'all could have paid an artist. But other than that, chef's kiss. Beautiful, wonderful, incredible. We each had to say a prayer in the car because... After we felt like maybe I, I, we were... I needed God very much in my presence after that film. I don't know if Bunny felt the same way when we left the movie, but I was sitting there like, I don't like that. That that ending was a little too um, real for me. Yeah. I didn't like that at all. Like I was like, ooh, we like it, no. I mean, it was a great movie, but it's just the ending was chilling. Like it was not a happy ending. It was not a we resolved this problem. Da, 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 da. I'm not going to give it away, but it was very much one of those films where you're watching it and you're like, oh, this is about to be us experiencing like some really fucked up shit. And, and I love that the message, like the huge commentary on it is that Hollywood, there, there are just so many people in Hollywood willing to sell their soul for something popular and something big and huge mm -hmm. and get notoriety on it. Like, mm -hmm. I'm, we're not gonna share the details on anything as far as like details of the movie, cause it'll ruin it 
until it's been out long enough that we could actually talk about it. Yes. But I have never been, it's been so long since I've been on the edge of my seat for a thriller slash horror. And every second I was like, this is when, this is when the pin's going to drop, Wonder, right? This is when the pin's going to drop. Wonderfully uh, paced, wonderfully paced film. And it's, it's sort of a found footage, but not what you think it is. I'll say that much about it. Yeah. Um, no, it's called Late Night with the Devil, not American Fiction. Um, and it's this movie that recently came out that was under controversy for using like AI for certain uh, still images that are in the movie. So it's not like directly a scene that is all done through AI, but more so like some little pop up of something. It's that like the up. logo is AI. Yeah, like, like you'll the, notice like that. intermission technical difficulties card is in, is AI. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's not super influential on the movie. It's just for like price break. Yeah, but Baked by Bunny, the way it's filmed is not done in widescreen. It's done in a specific style. Four by three. Four by three, like how it would be back in the day when we're watching TV, because it's it's based in like the 70s. So it's sort of like around when Johnny Carson was on air and all that kind of stuff. <sighs> I'm sorry. I, I'm enjoying this. Like now, I'm going back over all because the, there's head. so like, much oh tension God. that they build the tension in the perfect pacing. The details, the clues, the hints that it was giving us. The, I clocked that thing in the audience. I was like, something about them doesn't feel right to me when he was talking to him, and there was no reaction. And then, then later, I was like, oh, see, I was right. I knew something wasn't wasn't there. It is very, very y'all. I will say, out of horror movies I've seen. So far this year, that one is definitely in the top three for me. Oh, the, yeah. Oh, that was great. Yeah. It, especially the ending, the last 25 minutes were out of control. And it's original. It is original. Yeah. I don't think I've, you've seen like found footage things. You've seen things on like TV shows and game shows and things like that. Mm. But the way that they blend it all together so seamlessly, the way that they work in the specific guests that they choose to do, mm. the order in which they do it, it's just so beautifully based. They didn't put any back music for anything. So you didn't have to feel like, you know, you were being told what was about to happen. Everything was very organic. Uh, there's even some imagery that may disturb you. It certainly did for me. I'm very close to getting up and going, okay, that's a wrap for Matt. Oh no, I'd up, turn over and he if, was like this. If that pops up again, I have to go. Cause that right there feels like some intrusive into my real body kind of shit. And I don't want that over here. I don't like that. That though, If that movie was in 3D there, oh, that would have ruined lives. It would have ruined lives for that oh so good though god it, it looked too real i was like what, what is that and then it got and i was like oh no oh, no. I, oh I know i had to get up sally hallie thank you so much for the people on cash app uh get salmon to fatten up the cats meow i most certainly will thank you so much baby i appreciate you <laughs> um she learned her little Look at her little pink toes. And then one of them will be black. Like it'll be pink, black, black, pink, black. It's it's so weird how Tordy's, uh, the way their bodies with their, you know, all the coloring You're works. right though. It, it, I think it was one of my top horror films mm. in a while. In a while. Yeah, I would say in a while too. It was just, it, it felt like we didn't know what was about to happen. It felt like you say found footage, but it felt, it felt like real found footage, not some sort of, okay, this is a movie they just put together. Da, 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 da. It felt like that was supposed to be the episode that never aired or something like yeah. that. Yeah. Oh my God. Especially that end of transmission bit. And it was, oh, the last little thing it said. I was like, ah! No, the line he kept repeating at the end where he just was trying to find the grip. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. I swear, mm -mm. if you do go and you're a little bit squeamish as far, cause like we had this conversation yesterday. Mm. Like we, we're very much like, I, be, I believe in that stuff. And I believe that like things like Ouija boards and things like that, those are conduits. I don't want nothing to do with it. Mm -hmm. I don't want it around me. They mm -hmm. scare me, not to the point where it's detrimental and I won't go see these movies, but I am going to take a big step back. <laughs> And have to disassociate from that shit real quick, and then go yep. right to where I came from, which was God, and go, hey, by the way, I don't, I'm, I don't want that there. Thank you for showing me that. I don't want that, but ooh, that's scary. Like I, I don't like it, but it was, it was good. I, I will say, everybody in the movie, acting wise, did a very good job, especially Lily's character. 
That stare. I think it will be on Shutter if you're it's one of those It's gonna be folks. on Shutter in a month. Yeah, for those of you who are like, we can't go to the movies, you know how it is, or you may just be one of those folks that doesn't deal with crowds like that. It is produced by Shutter, uh, as well as eight other companies. <laughs> The beginning of the movie is like three minutes of like. When I thought card, it was a joke was card. when the one was like spooky pictures productions. I was like, that's fake, right? And then they just kept going. Mine was the ATP one where it was like ATP. Was oh, like, and then it was like it been a company since 2069. I was like, that's fake, right? Right. It was like future future production since 2069, which isn't a date yet. But it, we thought it was a part of the movie. It was not. It was the production. <laughs> Oh my god, that part just gagged she, me. Bunny says that she saged when she got home. Please and thank you. Because that Why? was a little, it's again, it was a bit realistic for even me. I was like, okay, this, I don't like that. Like, why, why does this feel like this is supposed to be a reality for some people? I don't want that in my, no, thank you. Because it was staged so well. Like, you really did feel like you were watching one of those corny ass 70s talk shows mm -hmm. and it really did feel like real segments that you've seen but then it's like oh 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 I, this is real I this just, is real i liked when they did the on-air segments compared to the off-air ones where they were showing us like the like, black and white exactly because yeah. apparently they were filming like a documentary about their comeback and that's what they were trying to i was like oh i'm starting to clock in to see how this is operating camera work mm -hmm. so it was like they were just going from different camera to camera to pick up on stuff and i don't know very very interesting movie um i'm quite impressed with it the other one i saw was on shutter was the when evil lurks or something i forget the name of that one um but it it's was in movie. columbia it's another excellent film i have to give it to shutter i was like shutter's been putting out some sick stuff since they've started to get theater releases because terrifier 2 me and bunny saw that that was excellent i'm ready for a terrifier 3. it's almost out a christmas theme one too and they said it's gonna have the most disturbing death scene ever it's supposedly made. gonna come out i think in october or november I'll be there. Supposedly. I have to see it because art, well, I know, uh, yeah, that you're not into those. I'm not characters. into clowns. Yeah. So I'm not a clown person. Art is, a, a, art. I don't know how I got into that lore, uh, but I found myself really digging his character. But then in the second movie where it shows that he's like actually like a demon, I was like, oh, oh okay. Well, now this really makes a lot more sense than what we're giving it. He's not just some crazy person running around here killing people. It was a lot. They gave him way more context to his character, but I guess the third movie will just elaborate on that even further. I don't know. Either way, I'm ready to go on my trip. To one end. <laughs> do it. <laughs> can't do it. Listen, I've been telling him to relax. We've been getting him fed. Yeah, at the, it's it, it will creep you out. That's why I'm going to tape it up. Because I'm so used to it doing that where it'll just be like... Out of the corner of And you eye. just saw this I movie. Like, you're like, what's happening? It's still moving. She's about to... Look, Stop it! Look, she's about to... <laughs> that little girl oh was creepy God. as hell. I can't. Um, but yeah. We're going to get him tucked into bed after this. I need to make sure my suitcase is packed the way I want it to. I need to get the toiletries into the toiletry case. Um, in the morning, I'll do everything like washing the sheets and stuff because Bleaker's going to be here for the next four days. Um, and they're just going to be taking over the house, watching the babies and having themselves a good old time out here in H-Town coming down. I already got my baby there. I'm going to go see, I'm gonna go see my old house. Last time I was here about... 13 years ago to look at my house that was repossessed by the FBI because they were making meth in it. Well, fifth ward? Wait a minute. Um, <laughs> East side? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Yes, you are true. <laughs> I was like, wait, so you were over there? Or no? <laughs> <laughs> you know exactly what area I was in, please. I was like, oh, okay. East, right? For sure. Um, the bars on the windows district. That. Um, <laughs> and mind you, the house that we were in had the bars on the windows. Well, it was necessary. <laughs> it was very necessary. Because um, we were next door at the shotgun house and all the uh, prostitutes and crack babies that were over there. So it was, it was a lot. Mm -hmm. I used to see people get dropped off, like thrown out of cars and like just 
tuck and roll, bitch get up, cigarette is broken, god damn it, walks to the little corner store right over there, come right back, get in the little house, I'll see them in the next two days, come back and get that same car, pick them up, call it a day. Are you going to bother watching AH AHS Delicate? Uh, Chucky series starts up next week. Yes, I'm very excited that the Chucky series is starting up next week because then I'll get back into my bag with Chuckster because you know I'm a big fan of the Child's Play series. Shout out to Don Mancini, one of the you greatest. Watch Delicate though. <laughs> I didn't watch part one. I mean, I, I'm so sorry. I'm not gonna watch Emma Roberts and Kim Kardashian. I'm so sorry. Like. If I watch Kim, then a portion of that money that goes to her goes to her children who are attached to Trash Panda West. Do you see what happened, Kim? You were fine without him, to be honest. I mean, with you. she just did a staged let, a whole pop thing in that. front of Starbucks. That's a, like, that is a mom and those are her children. That's for me now. But that's also the reason why I'm not gonna watch. So while that is for Ryan me, Murphy hasn't made a good show in uh, forever. Decades. And all of them are problematic. Let's talk about it. We're about to play jump rope with that. I have to, oh, I got to tape that all up tonight. Remember that nasty ass shit she said to Angelica Ross? They were saying that was a rumor, but then there was an actual apology that came from that. So it's like, uh, I mean, Angelica herself was tweeting about it. I believe Angelica. So Same. But also, like, Emma Roberts literally beat the shit out of her boyfriend and got Allegedly. thrown into jail. She was literally outside of the jail. What do you mean? Yeah, allegedly. No. <laughs> oh my goodness. Did they go? No, damn. I'm just trying to save grace because this channel, or I should say this platform is weird. But yeah. Um, thanks for tuning in, everybody. We're 41 minutes into this. I was going to close this out in an hour or so I could get myself together for my flight tomorrow and all that kind of stuff. Do me a favor. Do us a favor. Hit that like button, share, and subscribe. Become part of this Rant Pack family. And if you want to throw me a little bit extra love before my trippy poo to Miami, pay for a drink or maybe a wonderful sandwich in a cute district somewhere, please and thank you. It would be so appreciated. I'm not too proud to beg right now. It's PayPal.me for a Send him raise. your Cuban sandwich shop recommendation. Cash up, dollar sign, Maddie Rance, true. And Venmo, Maddie Dash Rance. I appreciate all of you for being here today. And thank you for those of you who have tipped earlier. Um, I have everything I need. I'm not buying sandals. I'm just going to wear these when it comes to the beach and stuff. Yup, sure am. I'm not buying sandals. They're pretty cheap out there. Don't do that. I'm not buying sandals. I will rock these Crocs. They are going to have to deal with my orthopedic Crockies. They're going to think that it's going to be just fine. I'll be walking on air. Being our age is fun. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, some people will find that attractive. They'll be like, oh, he enjoys his Crocs. I mean, I'll take the Charizard off because that's just this one of you going, char, char. But yeah, other than that. Um, I am. I, I I saw a comment saying, "Matt, say to yourself, I want to have fun." I hear you. I just, God, I've been trying to do this for days now, not even weeks. Well, my my Crocs actually were full, but they all fell off, so they're somewhere out in the world. Like I'm so serious. That's why I don't buy those things. Feel, like, what's the point? I feel like there's like a breadcrumb trail to where I live, based off of like you finding like you know, these little pop-on croc things. And I still have some in there. I just refuse to put them on because it's like, Because eh. you'll just lose them. Exactly. The weather has been crazy in New York City and New Jersey. My power just went out for a moment. Going to charge up my devices and dip out early. Enjoy your trip, Maddie. Enjoy your stay with the baby's bleaker. Thank you, Crystal. Yay. Appreciate you. Well, yeah. I also, this is my first trip with my, there's three people who I don't have that close of a relationship to. One in particular I've never met, but the other three I've known for over seven years. And out of the seven years, they we always do a group trip, but I've never gone on the group trips because YouTube, DragCon, because it always falls around the same time. DragCon is now in July. So I was like, oh, I can go with this trip. And so I guess that's why I have my nerves all jumbled up right now because it's like the second you get on the plane you're going to be fine because you're going to be stressing until you're on that plane oh, as soon as i'm on the plane i'll be fine actually when the plane takes off I'll that's be what fine. i'm saying because yeah I, once you're in that air you're gonna be like there's nothing we could do now but go down to the tar mat i didn't mean in that. miami i didn't mean that and land safely 
with no and, problems and, 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 and at all. Job done. Zero. Job done. As long as you have shoes on, Crocs and Crocs are fine. As long as you have shoes on, I listen. I, I don't know what's going on with the Miamis and all that kind of good stuff. Uh, but I hope, hoping and wishing and, and, wanting, and, and planning, and planning, planning and uh, dreaming. I am so sorry. Excuse me, everybody. Please forgive me. I am really on vacation. I just burped dead ass out loud the way it just did. I never. I know, I'm just, oh no, a bodily function. Shame the bodily function. This is not shame them. This is this is an Instagram. We can't just delete the live now. Terrible. I gotta make a thumbnail for this. This is gonna look stupid. Wait, let's just hold our poses like this real quick. Wait. Okay, I think I got the shot. No. <laughs> I was like, no, we gotta do the thumbnail real quick. Let's do it real quick, real quick, real quick. We're not delirious at all. We slept off and on for 12 hours yesterday. That's how tired we were. Y'all don't know. Oh my God. We got up to just do the basic bodily functions. Feed the cat. I also took a second away from Twitter for like a good 24 hours and it felt really good. Mm -hmm. And then today I was just like, you know what? I kind of want to live tweet my trip and all the stupidity that happened. So fuck how everybody feels. Let's just have fun. And that's how I, I want to start. I think as long as you don't, it, I, as I'm long as you're not stall. having to talk about like drag race and stuff, I think being out of that community for a second is going to be good. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be good. Yes. Yes. Yes! Oh, yes! Yes! No offense to Drag Race fans. I need a break from... Yep. G-O-T end, okay? I need... Yes, I need a break. I need a break. I'm tired of... You don't have the same opinion as me. Fuck you. I'm. Uh, it has completely pulled the life out of me, Bleaker. Oh, I know. And I'm at the point where I can't be a Libra no more to folks. I'm, my scales have tipped. I'm ready to swing. So that's why I'm like, I need a break talking about drag race and anything to do that causes folks to have emotional responses that are now leading to insults because we don't share the same ideologies. Like, I don't understand what's happening here today. Please, God. So that's why this trip is important, as well as, like, even the last two days, me and Bleaker have been spending time together. It's literally us also, like, talking out trauma. We <laughs> should vibing. Very much that. And I love Drag Race, and I want to keep my opinions. I want to still feel it the way I feel, but it's been three years nonstop of it. gonna take a break away from even thinking about like like friday i'm not watching drag race friday <gasps> oh i won't know how it's to gonna feel. be recorded it's gonna be recorded if you don't if you don't want a live react if you don't get a live reaction you don't get a live reaction well here's the gag um i'm gonna still record the live reaction i don't know why i feel better down here um i'm coming back no i'm not um i don't know why i'm gonna what am i doing words what are you doing mina she looking she's there shadow um, I'm still going to do the reaction for Patreon. They're just going to get it Tuesday. Like when Bleaker's gone, when I'm back at home doing my own thing. And then I'll be doing a review Tuesday and then I'll be doing another review Wednesday. Like I planned to do this week, uh, but I just didn't do. Cause again, I said, I have to take a break. Um, and that was the reason why I made my Twitter statement. Cause I just, I woke up. Why is that the first thing that I see when I wake up? And that's my fault. We're going on social media, but I get on social media I'm looking at people that either like or left a comment that I want to respond to. And then all of a sudden, I see something. It's always something. And then I click like an idiot in the comment section. And I'm like, someone woke up this morning and really thought about just hurting somebody in the worst way possible without being physical. And they just did that. And then there were people who just jump on it. And it's like this dog piling thing. And it was also seeing people post misinformation. And then people also spread that misinformation and argue with completely un like no facts of like, what's going on. Like y'all are arguing about things you don't even know about. It just drives me a little bit. And especially with drag race, because, you know, I have a little bit of insider knowledge and stuff. So when I see people coming at or making up things and saying stuff, and it's like, 
y'all have got to relax. Mm -hmm. This is why I don't hate playing. This is why I don't hate anybody on the show or anybody else like that. And why they're so cool with me is because I can differentiate what's happening on television to what's happening in real life. And a lot of people aren't doing that. And it's weird. I don't like no shade, be a fan of the show, but woo, you are taking stuff out into the daytime that needs to only stay at night. There's a reason why business is closed at a certain time. No, literally. <laughs> That's why I think that certain work week hours are just ridiculous. You shouldn't have to work that hard. If you guys cannot ask him about anything drag race related this entire time, hold it off until Monday. Don't don't ask when the live's gonna be. Don't Did ask you when see the, the episode? Be. Did you see the uh, have you seen the photos? He is going to be on Twitter just to post his photos of his trip. I mean, my underwear and me half naked. He's gonna take slutty pictures. On I'm gonna the be boat. eating food, pouring mustard on my body, asking God why. I already do that, but you'll be having pictures of me doing that. Gonna you know? get a double gator tattoo. Oh tattoo. yeah. Oh my God. What if I get a tattoo in Miami? Oh. I would love that actually. You would love that. I you, would love that. You know what? Actually, I might make that a thing if I can get Troy. To oh my get God! One. Wait. I'll go get one. <laughs> if you guys get X amount of money, oh. he'll have to go get one. You can't decide the the design though. Well, I already you know what I would do. Design. I already know what I would do. Ooh! I'll puss all in the face. Um, I'd either do the zodiac for the Libra on this arm, or I'd have like all black cat like we talked about with the tail hooking and then i do like a mina one but i'd actually do like coloring in that one and have the tail hooking and i, I would have the say just do the libra sign yeah because that, that sounds because the first tattoo with color is, i don't want to so die hard. in the chair yeah because like i'm so scared but i like mm -hmm. donna mm -hmm. thank you so much for the tippy poo see something PayPal. like that would cost probably like 150 dollars wow Oh no. Okay. I hope you oh no. I want the tattoo that's $25 from the book. No. <laughs> I hope you have a blast. My favorite fine father of two. Love you so much. Thank you, Donna. I appreciate you, baby. Appreciate you. Thank you so very much. Um she's so cute. Also, the compliment on the finger tats. Thanks. I've got them all over the place. Yeah, Bleaks has the tattoos that I would want to have, but then trauma of my mother is why I, I don't have those tattoos. My tattoos are nonsensical, silly, silly. Mommy be I'm like, just a silly little guy. Um, okay, let's see here, everybody. I want y'all to make sure if you see Bleaker online on X or Twitter, you send them love because they're going to be taking care of my kids while I'm gone. And I trust them because Don't I've worry. seen them take care of kids before. And I mean, fur babies when I say kids. So I have I things know. planned for a daily photo that he will be oh able to post gosh. of the behavior. Okay. And this one is Little Mina behavior is report cards. like the photo girl. Like if you catch her just right, it's like, oh my God, how dare you? Mm -hmm. And then mom just looks like that sweet baby. Sweet baby. My sweet baby mom. My sweet baby mom. See, you caught her in one of her faces. Don't she do went, it. No, she really went. <laughs> <laughs> My daughter's a bitch. <laughs> he was sick. She's up there cleaning herself mid-song. She goes, uh-uh. <laughs> I mean, uh, oh, hey, with that face. Yep. There we go. <laughs> So now they're both looking at me. What the fuck? She won't close her eyes now because we're both staring exactly. at her. Exactly. And daddy's going to make it much worse. Daddy's going to make it much worse. Did you sign off with her like this? Okay. <laughs> Queen of the universe. <laughs> She's like, what the fuck? She's like, is that me on the TV screen? It is you. It How is pretty you. she is. It is you. For just 99 cents a day, you Beat, too See how the paws sponsor. are black on this paw right here, but the pink right there. Oh, oh, Hi, sweet face. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. I love you, Jenny. Thank you. There's a look. Yeah, see, my daughter knows how to. You, you, you catch that? Click, click. Yes, you baby. should do one of those things where you <laughs> you film them in this room mm. with a little live webcam. Oh, I was gonna buy mm -hmm. one just for, when for you're that. Gone? Yeah. 
Thank you, baby girl. Oh, you know you're taking pictures for daddy. That's right. Oh! Oh, you a mom. You a 30-something year old mom, huh? <laughs> You know they're in good hands because you know how much I spoil mine. Oh, I know, but I just. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the thing you're worried about the most, even though you know I'm not going to screw up. It's more like they're your babies. I don't like leaving you when I go to the store. I know. It's, oh, I have become. Uh, oh, why are you making me a fave? <laughs> Cutie patoots. Oh, my goodness. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Matia the fourth, thank you so much for the tippy poo on Cash App. Enjoy Miami. Yes, baby. Yes, baby. That is going to the cocktail fund. And I are minus the tail. It's going to the cocktail fund. Um, I will be drinking ginger mules out there. Margaritas. Yeah. It's happened before. It's, mm -hmm. It was quite funny. It was like, boom, boom, boom. And then she walks out, like, shakes herself off and just goes about her business. I said, well, all right. Oh, look at that face. She, she said, excuse you. I hear a bell. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Y'all, I also wanted to pop up in here and say, hey, thank you for everybody that's still watching my videos and supporting me down. I looked at my analytics the other day and I was like, okay, there's a steady flow of y'all still watching my old stuff. Yes, baby girl. Um, and I appreciate y'all. Oh, I got the nails cut. They're long, but they're not all the way to the gross level yet, but I gotta get them cut when I get back home. You are thinking about when you get back home. Huh? Oh. Think about in the moment and what you're doing tomorrow. Quit it. I'm really doing that. Oh my gosh. Uh, You've already done it like six times in the last like three days. You, you're you mapping out before you even come home. You haven't even done the one thing yet. This is true. Go do the one thing. Worry about it when you're back here. Make a list if you think of it while you're out there and then put it away. Don't think about it anymore. This is a real life friendship. I need y'all, <laughs> if y'all are active on X, is Twitter forever? I don't even care. If y'all are active on there, if you are going to be tagging him, be like, go back to enjoying your vacation, Maddie Rance. <laughs> Give him reminders so he could be like, oh, he's already gonna be on his phone, you know he is. He's gonna be like, oh, they told me to actually stop focusing on all this other stuff. I should probably enjoy my vacation. God. I do need gentle reminders. You do. My brain will go right into. So where was I going to go do that mm -hmm. again? Am I going to get that done? And how am I going to do this? And when is that going to happen? Blah, blah, blah. This is literally what my mom dealt with in her later days of life where she said, Matt, I was a worry wart and I see it in you. And, it, and true enough, yes. I overanalyze, <laughs> overthink. And I go into the different steps of the five different outcomes. I am Dr. Strange without that whatever he, I got it. I don't care about that movie anymore. I'm sorry. Time stone? Yes, it was green. Reality stone? Was that blue? It was green. <laughs> it was one of them. It was one of them. <laughs> you know the reference. <laughs> it's the time one? Okay, good. Okay, good. The time one. That's right. No. I beat you nine till I figured it out before you see. <laughs> Smart I am. Don't ask who's on this shirt. All right, let's continue on. I realized just, you know. Oh, I noticed it, but I wasn't sure if you did it on purpose or it's, not. It's one of my, I don't wear you around people anymore shirts. And then I forgot that this is what we were doing and it's still on me shirts, but it's one of my older ones that, yeah, you can see the fusses on it, but yeah. Yay. It's Bosco. Anywho, thank you so much for. <laughs> it's not. It's really not. 
<sighs> just smoke some, what is that? Did you see it? Oh my God, drop. <laughs> I, well, if I can find some, we'll see. I don't know, but I know I have some. But not at all, because Florida is a that's state right. where it's not that, legal. That's right. That's that's right. Roo, roo, roo. I'm a drug dog. Roo, roo, roo. He will not be smoking anything. Scruff, McGruff, Chicago, Out Illinois, in... 61618. Ah, the lights are coming down. <laughs> not you sing a Scruff McGruff at me as a Chicago <laughs> family McGraw, Do you Chicago, remember Illinois, Illinois, 60618. <laughs> it was like, I used to like live for seeing his commercials. I loved kid. it. Scruff, I, I liked the cartoon version. I didn't like the guy in the suit. Yeah, that was The weird. guy in the suit was weird. Like, if y'all don't remember the crime dog, if you do not, like, it baby, it was a basset hound and a motherfucking trench coat hat. With a hat, and he was Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> and if you, it was like the Chicago version of do so, if you see something, say something. And they played it everywhere because it was such a big hit in Chicago. He turned, so he turned just, into national. Yeah, so, but it would always do, like, I'm in Houston hearing Scruff, McGruff, Chicago, Illinois, 6 one I'm like, we are not over there. Where is the 773 numbers? Like, what's going on, bitch? I used, to, oh. I used to write in letters asking when he would get adopted. Ah. I thought he was home. That was also dare commercial territory, too. This is your brain. With that lion? This is your brain and drugs. Ow. I remember her so vividly in that. <laughs> Was that Natalie Portman? No. That, was that Ambrulio or whatever her name? Natalie. It was um. Oh my God! Now I don't. Oh oh her. oh! Was she in? She's all that. Yes. Oh, her name is. Some, come on, Lee. Man. Lee. Something. Uh, come on, Rachel Lee Cook. Boom. Thank you. I was gonna say Jennifer Jason Lee, and then I was like, no, that's not right. It's oh my God. Rachel See, Lee Cook. Bleaker and me can go to a movie trivia game show and wear it out. Let me tell you something. That, that's us doing our moment. We, oh, we oh, fill each other's Who it is? Okay, it's an actress from the 90s. Okay, bet. What movie was she in? Is she cool now? No. All right, Rachel Lee Cook. Bet 1994 <laughs> reel and we knew all the movies. We were at um, the Alamo Draft House and um, for me, I don't go there that as much and Bleaker was like, Matt, they do a lot of the previews are from older movies that relate to the current movie. So it made it kind of a cooler experience. But then they also have like a 90s thing that's happening this month, I guess, where the movies from 1994, which all star Renona Ryder. Like so many movies came out with Renona Ryder in the 80s and the 90s. We didn't really realize it until we saw that one solid year have three Renona Ryder three movies. Three movies it? are going to be one. And not I mean, not supporting actor either, like actress lead actress in the movie. I'm like, yo, this is going to be a weird month for people. It makes you realize, because, like, really... She was that girl. She was that She girl. was that girl. Mm -hmm. And then she went to Bloomingdale's. No, it wasn't. Was it Bloomingdale's? Mark Jacobs. Oh, well, I understand. And now she's a Mark Jacobs girl. Look at Mark. In the end. Look at that. You better. You better. You, you and when they, her in jail and when and they arrested her, reason. they were like, why'd you do it? She goes, just to see if I could. Why I could. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> no, true though. That's some privilege true. right there. Good. White wealthy. Yes. Holly, On top of Holly that, Wood. the the added layer. That very much. Um, Alicia Silverstone too. Mm -hmm. Oh, don't. I used to like her. Yeah. Well. Anywho, um, Th that's us being polite. <laughs> you know who I do like from that era? Sarah Michelle Gellar. Mm-hmm. Her and her husband oh, are yeah. are aging beautifully and, oh, and are Jr. so non problematic. Yeah. Knock Love on wood. Them so much. I do like me some Reese Witherspoon, um, mm. especially because it's beyond. <laughs> she's she like so people that the Beyonce and her best friends. <laughs> best friends. <laughs> she there was a recent interview. She's like, I get to tell people that's like my really good friend because apparently they talk often. And I was like, oh really? Every time there's a drop, Reese gets a box. Every time there's a drop, Reese gets a box. But yes, I don't know if they're best friends. I was going to make a joke, but I'll wait until after. Uh-oh, it's cancelable. Jennifer Love, huge tip. Huge. I hated her. I was. I just told you that two days ago. And I have no reason to hate her, but I hate her. I just, I don't understand... So I'm so sorry. I don't trust you if you're a white woman whose middle name is Love and you're like, people call me Love. I've never heard anyone call her Love. 
she, in the 90s, that's why I, that's part of why I didn't like it. I was like, she just has a bad vibe. <laughs> she is party of vibe. vibe. That, that did that for you. I do like Lacey. I did Shut like Lacey. Yeah, I liked her for a while. I was sad she didn't get more roles. Um, I mean, she's a Hallmark queen. Now. The Hallmark is right. Oh my God. Hi, honey. All right. Hi, sweet. And there it is. What's the second time she's done that? Mina's given a chirp and a rub. Oh, scratch the top. Scratch. Full face rub. Yeah. She put her lips all over Get it. Get scratchy, bitch. There you go, baby. Oh, my goodness. There you go. See? They're good people. Remember? Yeah. All right. She's been tiptoeing good. around me for days. And that's the last thing I needed to see, and I can leave. <laughs> I told you I know how to act around cats. You leave them the hell alone, they'll come to you. Because Mamu's a sweet baby, so he's just going, hello. Oh, Ooh, full belly rub. A big stretch. Oh, you She's, real comfortable. Mm, she said, now I can stop stressing. Yep. She instantly flattened. Mm. I got good cats. I got good cats. <laughs> <laughs> Pops, are you going to be able to leave the... Yes, I am. Bleaker will be fine with the babies. Um, he knows damn well that I know how to raise babies. Right. Mm -hmm. You doing a full body crawl? Hi, boobs. Uh, she was. She wants attention. Hi, boobs. A sweet baby. Yes. Hello. She's like, no, but I'm on your body now. I don't want that, Dad. I don't want that, Dad. I have to be over here. I control the narrative. Yes, <laughs> that is Nina. I control the narrative when you scratch me. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, see? Now that you're in control, you feel better. Like, look at her. Look. <laughs> this is us, me and her, like, normally at least two hours out of the day, because she would want me to do this forever. Unlike Mama, who will be like, no, you can stop now. No, Mia's like, keep going just keep she's a love scratching. yes baby girl i love you daddy love you um that's how my velma is too oh your cat's name is velma like from scooby-doo i bet it's better than that series if it's from scooby-doo did everybody know that scooby's real first name is scoobert yes i knew it's that. one of my favorite things i knew that from a pup named scooby-doo scoobert do Scooby dooby doo, scoobity doo. For those of you who remember that theme was song, Scooby doo. Yes, doo, I'm gonna give doo, the doo, okay. Doo. So here's what I'm Did gonna do. Did we discuss do. Whoopi? What did Whoopi do? Oh no. What did Whoopi do now? <laughs> Not now. I mean, you have to say that at this point, because you know, we started with Ted, now we're here. Started from Ted Dance, and now we're here. Oh, shut up, I'm gonna make that work. Started from Ted Dance, and now we're here. Started with Ted, not the whole team. <laughs> Shut up, Matt. Oh my God. It's still one of my favorite adaptations. Of, it's actually my favorite, to be honest with you, of all the Scooby Doo um, spin off shows. It's when the people they were kids. Um, yeah, what did that little lady do? That's a lie. Um, I love Jumping Jack Flash. That's my favorite Whoopi movie. What is mine? It's mine. I just like them all. I always like Whoopi and anything. She's been like, I was obsessed with her on Star Trek. Obsessed with her. I was such a fan. I saw Bogus as a oh. child. As a child in the theater, not preparing myself for what a drama I was in. This is how you know I'm a movie file. Because <laughs> I, I found myself actually seeing that as a kid in the theater and it being the most boring experience of my life. But it was also very sad and dramatic. And, and like, oh my God, what am I watching? Starting that one man who was oddly shaped. Um, what's the one where she pretends to be a man? That's my favorite childhood whoopee movie. Eddie? Oh, Sister Act. That's my favorite. Mm -hmm. yep. One I was about to say, two is like above one for me, though. Just the love, just a touch of mm -hmm. love. I just know that song from where they're cleaning up the schools and shit. I love it. Just a touch of love, just a touch of love. Are you good? Do we need more? See, Mina will let me rub her tummy. Mama won't. Mama will be like, get off of me. Mina's like, yes, daddy, get in there. Get in my little tummy, rub your belly, belly. Okay. All right. Uh, Star Trek, she's going to be on, on the car. car. Yeah. Oh. 
I think she already was either last season. She was a guest star, but they're going to have her as like a full time person now. That's why she was on The View the other day when we were watching. Mm -hmm. I mean, why this mama from there was the other. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm here for it. Yeah, we were watching daytime TV. I'm still thinking about that story she told. That was kind of heavy, huh? I I was like, it is not an (laughs) AM. And you saw Whoopi's face too. She was like, like, all right, girls, we we they like you. it should have been told, but it was so early to hear that story. Heavy, like oh, so I'm the reason. Okay, see, and I was remember when I was telling you when I hear that kind of stuff, I said, see, that's the stuff that gets people. Going. I can't. I really can't stop thinking about it. Bling. Oh, she got full tail wags going. What you want, big girl? She wants your full attention. We gotta go. Mm-hmm. We gotta go. I gotta start packing. Uh, oh, you wanted me to see you have you have to be in control. Okay, y'all, thank you for tuning in for this little time that I had today. I just wanted to pop up on here and say, Maddie is really, I'm going on my trip, but doing my vacation, full jazz. Bleaker is gonna be here taking care of my kids. So now you've seen Bleaker here and we have a face. And so if something happens, we have the mugshot right here. I'm playing, I'm not, I'm, I'm playing, I'm, not. I'm so, Okay. So we'll be holding a live auction of all of Maddie's. <laughs> It'll be a short auction. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> It'll be as long as it's live right now. <laughs> They're getting shorter than that even. It's and fine. I'll be like, we got one dollar here. We got one, <laughs> one. We got one. <laughs> it's definitely going to be that. But um, I appreciate y'all for the love you showed today. Just listen to our stories of while Bleaker has been here in town, our light movie review of um, what was that? Going live with the devil. Uh, late night. Li- with oh, the sorry. Devil. Late night with the devil. It's currently in theaters right now. I highly recommend it if you're a horror movie fan. Um, if you're not, you may want to skip out on it because it's it's definitely in the genre of I'm gonna scare the fuck out of you and make you think about shit later. Uh, if you're gonna wait, it's gonna be on Shutter, possibly more than likely. Um, if you want to drop a little bit of extra love again, uh, especially if you want to buy me a drink and make sure I have a good time I've, and I'm like, yes, please paypal.me for slash my rants, catch up on Simon rants and then my rants to all of you and every one of you. I love you so very much. I will see you Tuesday. Bye. Tuesday. Love you down. See you Tuesday. Take, I gotta, I gotta go fix this, this shit over here. All right, y'all. See you later. Bye. Listen. Yeah.